I have Jürgen Ligi, who is the Finance Minister of Estonia, with me just to talk about that. Thank you very much indeed for coming, uh, Mr Ligi. We've just gone through the biggest debt restructuring in history in Greece. Uh, Greece is actually facing still a lot of pressure, though. The IMF are talking about the possibility of a further accident. Do you think it's, it's likely that Greece is going to have to have recourse to further aid from the European Union and maybe even further re restructuring? It's hard to say, uh, but anyway, they do not have much choice. They have to reform and and cut and to bring down their standard of living. They haven't earned what they what they are spending, and and uh, I don't think anyone anyone any country will forgive uh, the debts in the future. They have to pay them. And when you're talking about bringing down that standard of living, you're talking about an internal devaluation, if you like, where exactly. you see wages and prices falling. Now, this happened in Estonia. Tell us a bit about what happened in Australia <coughs> where during your crisis you had a, an economic contraction over that two year period of nearly 18%. Nothing uh, very, very painful hap actually happened. We had uh, civil uh, civilization before and we still have. Uh, we st uh, just uh, took uh, back our expectations, our, our incomes. It can be called as yes, internal devaluation. Uh, Prices uh, gone down a little bit, uh, and and salaries certainly did uh, businesses, uh, and 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 government uh, made uh, quick adjustment. Uh, but you've had an economic <coughs> rebound since then. Now, do you do you put do you attribute that to the fact that you had to go through this internal devaluation? Exactly, we had a very strong rebound. Actually, our last year's growth was seven point. 7.6, and uh, yeah, before that it was uh, three per uh, three percent after after um, uh, almost uh, 14 percent decline in 2009. And uh, key, uh, I believe, was really the quick uh, reaction and uh, quick action on, on both uh, private and government level. But does it give you any optimism then that there could be a possibility of some sort of rebound in economic activity in Greece if they implement? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, for, for sure, their economy is different. They, their reforms are on the halfway, and uh, uh, they are living. Uh, our, our feeling is somewhere in our 90s, where we, we had really uh, very hard uh, reforms to do. Uh, they have a lot of, of barriers for growth, and the general sentiment is uh, very negative. Uh, I don't think they have cut enough, for example, uh, minimum salary is still uh, uh, more than twice as high as in, it is in Estonia, and I don't think they uh, deserve it. So it clearly they've got a lot more work to do. What about Portugal? Because, I mean, if you look at what's happening at Port to Portuguese bond yields, 10-year bond yields, something like 13.5%, is that an indication to you that Portugal is going to have to come back for a second bailout or an extension to the first? We can't uh, talk about second bailout. We have uh, no information uh, about everybody. It's there are rumours, but uh, but uh, analysts uh, can't uh, uh, are not talking about it. Uh, I think about Portugal, the feelings, of course, are mixed. And uh, and uh, listening to the finance minister, uh, among others, uh, he's quite optimistic. He thinks Portugal is doing even a little bit better than he expected, and he's a good professional. I believe in him. One of the uh, one of the topics at the end of the month for finance ministers and European leaders is going to be this question of firewalls. Mario Monti in Italy, we spoke to him just recently. He is backing the idea that firewalls need to be strengthened. What's your position on this? Mm -hmm. In the end of the day, probably there will be parallel systems, FSF and uh, SM, for a while. Uh, what will be the amount? It it's, uh, ha has to be de decided uh, quite soon. Uh, no one, of course, wants to uh, increase uh, the amount of uh, SM. Uh, but uh, for sure, it's important, first of all, to s uh, s give the signal that we are ready to act if necessary. Just a very quick answer for the next <coughs> one, but um, François Hollande, uh, the French presidential uh, candidate, is talking about uh, adding a growth addendum to the fiscal compact. Would you support that? What was the... Uh, He's talking about adding a growth, um, a, a growth uh, possibility into the fiscal compact, which has already been agreed. Would you support... A, a growth, a growth uh, amendment. I don't, don't think 
uh, I don't know what he's talking about. Uh, I'm sorry, but uh, uh, it it sounds dangerous. Uh, Holland sounds very dangerous. Uh, <coughs> hopefully, it only sounds this way. Okay, Jürgen Ligi, uh, the finance minister of Estonia. Thank you very much indeed for speaking to us.